2019 BMW M8. Overview When BMW introduced the 8 Series back in 1989, it reshaped the full size luxury segment with a car that was gorgeous, unique, and loaded with innovative features. However, the global crisis and high fuel prices of the early 1990s prevented it from becoming a strong seller, with a little over 30,000 units delivered until 1999, when it was discontinued. Almost two decades later and the 8 Series is set to return. Following the unveiling of a concept car in May 2017, BMW also released a bunch of photos confirming that an M8 is also underway in 2018. The M8's arrival will mark a premiere for the nameplate, which didn't receive the M treatment in the 1990s. Although BMW did make a prototype, it eventually decided that there's no market for the M8 and the project was scrapped. Times have obviously changed now and with Mercedes already offering AMG versions of the S-Class Coupe and with Bentley producing the Continental GT Speed for quite a few years now, BMW needs an H-Series and an M8 to keep up with the competition. Find out what we already know about this grand tour in my speculative review below. The first thing that comes to mind when looking at the camouflaged M8 is that the production model won't look as exotic as the 8-Series concept. This confirms that BMW will give the Series Coupe a softer stance and that it will remove the big vents behind the front fenders, the massive intakes under the headlamps, and the aggressive engine hood. The front grille also sports a less angry design that's more in line with BMW current styling cues. This isn't a bad thing though, as the vertical slats are pretty thin and sharp and the kidneys are wide enough to produce a wide stance. The headlamps are obviously thicker than the concepts but thinner than anything else you get right now save for the i8. Down below, the bumper appears to be standard BMW M stuff, with large outlets toward the sides and longer vents with a mesh grille in the middle. This section will be unique to the M8, while the 8 series will sport a less aggressive element. On to the sides, the large scoop behind the front fenders is missing, while the roof sits slightly higher. This isn't surprising as concept cars are usually sleeker than their production counterparts. However, the good news is that the rear haunches, one of the most stylish features on the 8 Series concept if you ask me, appear to be very similar. Moving over to M-specific editions, we have beefier side skirts and a set of juicy twin 5-spoke rims in dark gray. Behind them we can see the obligatory blue brake calipers.